What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So as you can tell, I'm out for another, uh, another little trip in the woods here. So got the two dogs with me, Molly and Goose. So we've been having some uh, beautiful weather here in central Newfoundland here the last, uh, last few days. So today is supposed to be sunny, 25 degrees Celsius with light winds. And then a clear night tonight. Tomorrow calls for more sun and 28 degrees Celsius. So yeah, uh, beautiful weather. So I had an opportunity to come out for a quick little overnight trip here. So we're just hiking back to, uh, to a little pond where I've camped multiple times in the past. Yeah, just gonna do a bit of trout fishing. Set up camp for tonight. Get a little fire going here later and uh, got some good food to cook up for supper tonight. So, should be a good trip. Whew, all uphill. To get into this pond here. The flies are eating me alive. So if the weather is nice, you gotta deal with the flies. That's usually the way it is. Anyways, once we get out by the pond, hopefully there'll be a little breeze to keep some of the flies down. Oh, just got to the pond. There's a little company of ducks out there. Oh, there they go. Still a couple in the water here to the left. Surprised they didn't go to wing when Goose went out in the water. Black ducks, I believe. Maybe you have a nest here somewhere. Hey Molly, you hot? Oh, there go the other two ducks. Ooh, go wait for a dip, Molly. Go wait for a dip, cool off. Oh man, more ducks down here. Ducks going everywhere. See some trout uh, showing up out in the pond here already. So that's a good sign. Hopefully they're hungry. And I brought some worms this time. So that should be a, that should be a help for sure.
So first order of business here before I even set up my camp I'm gonna put my, uh, my fishing rod together get that all rigged out and ready to go so I've already seen uh, a couple of trout jump right out in front of camp here so I'm gonna have a few casts here now see if I can't lock into something right off the bat here so I'm gonna go back to this uh, trusty MEPS lure first so I had some luck with this on my last video so we'll try that first see how that does Had a bite. Ah, just struck one, but he got away. Well, I've just been having a few casts here as I've been setting up camp and hooked into this little guy. Beautiful little trout, but uh, he's too small, so he's going to be going back. Well, we got our camp set up here. Tent is right here on the edge of the water. So uh, it's a nice spot here. It's not ideal ground to set a tent up on, but we'll make do. So we got all the gear put in the tent. So here's my, uh, my fire pit from last year. So those of you who have been around the channel for a while, uh, you may recognize this spot. So I did a video here. Uh, about, about a year ago, I think it was pretty much the same time of year, so I spent one night here. I think that was a, a two or three night trip. Anyways, I'll put a link up top here if you haven't seen that video yet. Yeah, we're all set up and uh, just going to do some fishing. I may uh, have a little a little lunch here and a coffee or something and then we got to go get firewood. So there's basically no, no dry wood at all on this little peninsula around, so... There's trout jumping right out in front of camp here. So yeah, we got to go for firewood. I'll probably head head out into the woods there somewhere. I'm gonna have to, to hike a little ways and carry some back. So I'm not gonna not gonna get a ton of wood, just enough to cook supper and stuff tonight. And then tomorrow morning, uh, I have my little butane stove. So I'll use that in the morning if I'm all out of firewood to uh, cook breakfast and boil up water for coffee or whatever.
Well, I'm gonna make my way in through here. See if I can't find a dead standing tree for firewood. I don't know. Doesn't look like there's gonna be much to choose from. Oh man, she's thick. She's thick. See one dead tree right here. I don't know if I can get that one or not. Yeah. All right, well, I made it in here, but pretty, pretty thick. I'm gonna try and take this tree right here. Dead spruce. Oh man, the nippers are eating me alive in here. So I only brought my little silky saw, silky gone boy. I'm gonna have to make do. It'd be nice to have my uh, my bigger uh, Boreal 21 here, but it is what it is. dry wood here it's gonna be hard to split with my little uh, my little hatchet but we'll get it done on my last video the black flies were just insane but uh, this time it's the big old mosquitoes they're out in full force here now and uh, they're thirsty for my blood they are just biting right into me Hoping for that breeze to kick off a little bit. Kind of been up and down all afternoon here, but as soon as it drops out a little bit, the mosquitoes just come in uh, in clouds, They're swarming us.
All right, well, firewood is all taken care of. So I just found some of this stuff. Um, so birch bark is probably one of the most common things you're gonna see people lighting a fire with. But if you can find some of this, it's just dead, dry top off a of spruce tree. But yeah, if you can find this, uh, this is right up there with birch bark when it comes to uh, the lighting the fire. So this will take a take a flame right from a match or lighter. So I got everything ready to go here for when I get back from uh, from fishing. Just have to put a match to that, and we'll be in business. Hey Goose, you want to play stick? You want to go for a swim? All right, let's do it. Ready? Sit. Goose, sit. All right, well, now the goose had his little uh, little game of fetch there. Hopefully he'll be tired out a little bit, so time to go get a meal of trout. Ah, oh, I got a weed, another weed. Well, I've been getting a few bites here, but uh, they seem like a real small, real small trout. I haven't been able to hook anything yet. Come oh on. Felt like a nicer one. Well, got a little tiny guy. I think uh, a lot of what's out there are, are just little small ones like this. I've been getting a ton of bites, but they're real hard to hook. So I think they're pretty small. Anyways, we'll get this guy back in the water. Ollie, leave it. Uh, had one on and lost it. I think that one might have been a little bit bigger. Oh, this one's half decent. This could be a keeper if I can get him in. Oh. <laughs> oh man, he came off right by the shore. That one was definitely big enough to keep. Crap. A few trout around here. They seem to be uh, pretty small for the most part. Just had another one chase my hook right in. I'm gonna put a new worm on here and uh, See if I can't get a bigger one. Oh man, almost every cast here now, I'm getting uh, getting some hits. Another pretty small one. I'm gonna let him go. He's kind of borderline, but I'm looking for some uh, looking for some bigger ones to put in the smoker. So let this guy go. Ah, 
I think I got a half decent one on here now. So I can get them in. Oh, <laughs> it came off. Molly, leave it, leave it. Come on. All right, so he's not big by any means, but uh, I am going to keep this one. If I can get uh, four or five more like this, at least I'll uh, I'll get a meal. So here's our camp straight across here. You can see the tent. Yeah, this is where I normally fish this pond. Had a few casts here so far and nothing. Had more action over, uh, over towards camp, which is strange. Over the years, I've, uh, I've had most of my luck in this pond right here off this rock. Anyways, we'll see. I'll spend a bit of time here. Hopefully something will come around here now shortly. Pretty deep water right out off this rock. So there's usually uh, a few trout hanging up there. Nothing, nothing Molly, not even a bite here. So I thought I was gonna do all right over in this spot after I caught a few, uh, a few smaller ones over on the other side. Thought I, uh, thought I would strike into some decent ones here, but that's fishing, I guess. Just when you think you have it figured out. Think again. Oh, there's a small one. He's just gonna steal my worm. I don't wanna catch that one. He's only about four or five inches long. Well, my meal of smoked trout may have to wait for another trip by the looks of this. All right, guys, well, no luck with the fishing, so it's pretty slow. Uh, anyways, I think I'm gonna make my way back over to camp. I'm starting to get pretty hungry here now, so we'll make our way back, get the fire going, cook some food. And uh, I can always fish back, back over by camp. Seem to be more action over that way anyways. Still got a few hours of daylight left, so. Probably uh, get some food and do a little more fishing by camp and uh, just relax for the evening. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go. Home sweet home.
All right, so <clears throat> time to get some food going here. So some of you guys probably already guessed, but uh, I'm cooking up some moose again tonight. So you guys are probably getting uh, getting sick of watching me cook moose here on the channel, but moose is on the menu again. So I'm gonna cook up some moose tacos. Just got a, a pound of ground moose meat here. I'm gonna fry that up first. Too much heat going on there. Oh yeah, starting to look good now. Pretty, uh, pretty simple little meal to, to cook up out in the woods too. Just gotta fry up the meat. Everything else, uh, all the other toppings I cut up at home, got them all ready to go. So we'll be eating here shortly. hot sauce <laughs> can't wait to dig into this Goose wanted to go in the tent and get away from the flies, but I think he smells the moose meat now. He's uh, he's back up on the go, trying to get out. You want to come back out? That's some moose, don't you? So I took uh, I took a little bit of the moose meat out of the pan before I put the taco seasoning on it. So I'll give the dogs a little taste here now in a minute. And don't you eat that on me.
going on, Goosey? Huh? Good boy. Well, it's an absolutely beautiful evening here now, guys. So the sun is just set behind the uh, the hill over here behind the tent. So we're going to be losing daylight uh, pretty quickly here now. Yeah, uh, no uh, no luck with the trout, so that kind of sucks. But you know, when you're out here on a beautiful evening like this, you really can't complain. So uh, a meal of trout would have just been a bonus. Yeah, I'm just going to boil the kettle again, sit by the fire for another hour or so, burn up the rest of my firewood, and uh, just enjoy the evening. Yeah, uh, while I'm sitting around the fire here, a couple of things I wanted to mention. So, if you watched my last video, and uh, you're wondering who the winner of the, the canoe naming and the, uh, the knife giveaway contest was, I actually haven't uh, haven't made that decision yet, so uh, I've still been getting a few comments coming in on that video up until today when I came out here, so I decided to give it a few more days. But uh, anyways, I am going to make a decision on that in the next few days coming up here, so actually by the time I edit this video and by the time you guys are watching it, I'll most likely have already announced the winner, so you guys may already know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you haven't seen that, head over to my my Instagram page or my Facebook page, or you can check on my community tab here on YouTube, and I'll have the winner, uh, the winner's name and the name that I chose for the canoe posted there. And I'll also mention it in my next YouTube video uh, for those of you who don't use social media or whatever. So yeah, you can find out uh, the winner of that uh, contest there. So, and I just wanted to say thanks to everyone for uh, for leaving a comment on that video. I had quite a few comments and plenty of interesting names for the canoe to pick from. So I'm looking forward to uh, picking one of those names. So the channel also just uh, surpassed the 1,000 subscriber mark. So I'm sure some of you guys seen that on my, uh, my social media or whatever. So I just wanted to, uh, to say a special thanks to everyone for subscribing to the channel and supporting the channel so far. So obviously couldn't uh, couldn't do it without you guys watching the videos. So special thanks to everyone who watches. And uh, yeah, the 1,000 uh, subscriber mark, I guess, is the, the first big milestone for uh, for anyone with use a uh, YouTube channel. So. Uh, I was able to uh, get my channel monetized, so that's uh, that's great. So once again, thanks a lot. What else? Oh, uh, I'm doing some new hats. So uh, I did a run of trucker hats last year, and uh, they sold pretty quick. And uh, I'm going to do another batch of hats. So I just got the hats in, and I'm in the process now of... Uh, of stitching the leather logos onto them so uh, I've I done these different than last year's hats so these just have my my logo so if anybody is interested in picking up a hat I have black with the light color leather logo and I also have some camo uh, they're camo on the front with black on the back and they have a dark uh, darker brown leather logo on them so They'll be available in the next couple of weeks. And I also have... Oh, Alright, so the camera just shut off on me right in the middle of what I was saying there. But, uh, yeah, if anyone would like to pick up one of these hoodies, I still have a few of these left as well. So, uh, I think I have a couple of each size left if anyone's interested. can also do them with the white logo instead of the orange. But, yeah, uh, appreciate everyone who, uh, who purchased any merchandise from me. Uh, in the past so I am going to be doing uh, a 1,000 subscriber giveaway video I think I mentioned that in my last video as well but uh, I just wasn't ready to uh, to do that on this trip so uh, I'm still in the process of putting together some prizes for that I didn't want to rush it so keep an eye out for that uh, I'm gonna get that done in my next couple of videos here hopefully in the next few weeks Anyways guys, I'm just going to sit by the fire for another bit, uh, burn up the rest of my wood, 
and just enjoy the rest of the evening out here. So, uh, unfortunately, I got to get going and head back out pretty early tomorrow morning. I got a few things going on at home that I got to get back for. So, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I may have a little bit of time to fish in the morning. I'm gonna get up and uh, and have some coffee and breakfast, anyways, and uh, then we'll be hiking back out. So. That's going to do it for tonight, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Well, not a bad view to wake up to. Well, I don't want to go home. <laughs> so, I managed to uh, save a little bit of firewood last night. So, uh, I actually started to doze off out by the fire here. So, I, uh, I took that as a sign that it was probably time to uh, let the fire die out and uh, crawl in the tent and go to bed. So. Yeah, it was a really quiet night. Not a draft of wind at all. Everything was just dead quiet, dead still. Never heard a sound all night. Beautiful night. You see, want me to throw that stick out in the water or what? You're nice and dry. Now you're gonna go out and get soaking wet again, aren't you? Sit. Sit. Anyways guys, I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee, enjoy the view, enjoy the last uh, hour or so of the trip here. And unfortunately, then we gotta pack up and, uh, and head back out, so. Absolutely beautiful morning though. Definitely glad I came out for a quick trip here. Quick trip is, uh, is definitely better than no trip, that's for sure. All 
All right, guys, well, as much as I hate to leave, uh, we got to hit the trail here. So just want to uh, say thanks to everyone for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, share the video, all that good stuff. It all helps the channel out. So I really appreciate it. And I uh, hope everyone's doing good. We'll see you on the next video.